You like that one? Huh? You like that little drop shot? Yeah, I hate those. Well, first of all, you try to hit a little too hard sometimes, but what can really help you is feeling the ball a little more. Like feel overall, I'm gonna show you today some exercises where you can improve your feel. You know what I mean by feel? Feel is basically like if you're feeling the ball with your hand. So feeling the ball with the strings, hitting the ball a little bit softer. It's really important in the beginning because you need to be able to control the ball before you ever start thinking about power. Because sometimes on your forehand, I think you try to hit a little too hard. And it's a little too wild. Well, you know, the feel can help you tremendously to uh, get control over the ball. And this is something you can do actually at home. I'm giving you homework today, okay? Really? You wanna get homework? All right, so here, we're going to do some exercises. We've never actually done this. We should have done this in our first lesson. Okay. We kind of skipped over it. So you take a ball and go in a continental grip. Okay, and now just take your racket like this, put your palm up to the sky and bounce it on your strings like 10 times. So you can already probably do this. Nice. Not too high, not too high. Soft, soft. Soft contact. All right, you got 10, you got 10. Okay, good enough. We're going to the next thing. Okay, what's the next thing? I'm All right. listening, I'm listening. Now, <laughs> I'm listening. you keep going, it's fun, right? Yep. All right, now, now the next thing, you go down to the ground, like this, 10 times. Okay. You see this? To the ground. Now watch oh, the ball. Harder. It's harder? I think so. You're doing good though. Yeah. You're doing good? I've never done it before. Nice. All right, so this is something you can do. It's like a warm-up before your practice sessions, get your feel going. And now, look, continental grip, you're going to use both sides of the racket. This is going to be a little trickier. Watch. You oh. see this? All right, try it out. Okay. Come on, be ready. Always be ready. Continental grip, continental yeah. grip. That's forehand grip. Yes. Remember continental? Or as oh. you call it, international grip? Oh, yeah. There it is. And now you turn the palm up. Let's okay. Yep. And I turn the racket around. There you go. Wow. You got good hands. <laughs> okay, you see it's a little trickier, right? Yeah. Yeah, try it one more time. Good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> nice job. All right, now the next one is very important in, in learning feel is how to pick up the ball. How do you pick up a ball from the ground? Let me see. Here, here's a, here's a ball. You're playing with someone, you're picking this ball up. Let me see, how do you pick it up? I usually do that. You go like that, okay? Easiest. You're not allowed anymore to pick it up like that. No. Not anymore. This is from now on illegal. Here's what you're going to do. There's three methods, okay? This one I know. You already know? There you go. That's okay. one way. All right? Another way is, look, you go like this with the racket over the ball and you pick it up like that. I think it's such a chore to do that. Not at all. It's much easier. I never pick up the ball you with my hand. Screw, like you just ruined the racket. Not at all. Watch. I'm not going to I'm not going to touch the racket at all, you see? All right, if you're worried about the racket on this one, I got another one for you. Yeah. Here, you can pick up the ball by bouncing it very hard on the ball twice, very hard and fast, like pop up, and then one time long. So two small ones, pop up, and then one long one. Watch. You see that? Mm. Watch, watch it again. So much easier to just pick it up. You see? Not at all. I'm telling you. Here we go. Like this, you know. Okay. Let me see. Oh. Do it again. This one is hard. Come on, try to learn it. Remember, you need one like stronger, longer hit to make the ball pop up off the ground. There you go. Oh wow, you're learning really <laughs> fast. All right, now this one's going to be... I think this is the easiest. Okay, you can do that one. Mm -hmm. I do that one too sometimes. The next one's going to be super important because you're going to learn a real feel. You're going to throw the ball up into the air and you're going to catch it on your strings like this without it bouncing, okay? The way you're going to do it, as the ball is falling, your racket needs to go in the same direction and now the ball should stay on your strings without it bouncing off like that. Uh -huh. Continental grip. Throw it in the air, throw it into the air. No, not with the backhand side, with the forehand side, yeah. No, no, you're gonna throw it with your hand. Look, you throw it with your hand, and then you catch it like that. The toss, right? Yeah, Let's see it again. Try another time. You almost had it on that one, do it again. You put the strings in the vicinity of the ball, and you simply continue going down like that. Wow, that was impressive. Now, let's do it one. You almost did it two times in a row. All right, let, let's give me the ball. And let's do it now a little bit more difficult. I'm going to throw the ball towards you and going to do the same thing. Now the ball's flying that way. Your racket needs to go in this direction of the ball. It needs to go like that. Here, let me show you. Throw me a ball with your hand. Throw it this way. See, I go like that and catch it. 
basically going backwards with the racket. Here, try it out. Okay, do, it again. do it again. Oh my goodness. Wow, you have unbelievable feel. That was impressive. <laughs> now, if you're really bored at home, you got nothing to do. I'm uh, always yeah? Me. You can do this stuff at home, but make sure maybe use a softer ball so you don't break anything. Okay, now we're gonna actually hit the ball and incorporate feel into the hit. So go ahead and stand there on the service line. All right, Anna, so now I'm gonna feed you the ball. You're gonna tap it to yourself and then hit it back over to my side. Here we go, you tap and hit, go. Good. Wow, you're really good at this. And now we can also turn this into a game where we play out points, okay? In the service box, we can play out points like that. So if you're ever playing with someone, you can make this into a little mini tennis game. Tap, go. Nice, Anna. Come on. Good, Anna. Why are you the only one running? Why don't you make me run? You're playing everything right at me. <laughs> oh, that's it. Come on. Go, 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 go. So see, that's a fun little game that can help you improve your feel because in tennis, just as important as it is to hit the ball hard later on when you get really good, it's also very important to learn how to hit the ball soft and play the ball very gently, okay? All right, Anna, I want you standing really close to the net over on the other side. Right there, maybe back up a couple of steps. And now let's try to keep the ball in play. Your objective is to hit it as close to the net as possible. And you can do it in your forehand grip, with a forehand. You're doing your forehand grip. Okay. To me, we're gonna keep it in play. You should still try to do a regular swing. With your regular swing, you have a little bit more feel. And face me more, you're too, too sideways. Face me more, this way. Okay. There you go, come closer, come a little closer. Do your regular forehand and then hit it very gently close to the net. You can even use topspin. There you go. Forehand only. For forehand only. Come on, you can do it. Nice. Move your feet. Come on, stay on your toes. Good. Look at this. A little bit softer. You're hitting too hard. You see, Anna, you're overhitting a little bit. So you're hitting the ball a little bit too strong, okay? Slow it down. Hit it very gently. Still too hard. Hit it softer. Go again. Come on, softer. That was the best one, nice. Nice, there we go. Beautiful. That's an excellent rally. Nice job. There it is, come on. No! But see, Anna, what's happening now is you, you couldn't really do it in the beginning, but then you kind of figured it out and you started developing feel for this particular thing that we were doing. So I it's, like this exercise. It feels uh, like meditation. Oh, you like it? Yeah. And it's also very, it's not so easy to hit the ball so soft, you know? Because sometimes we have this in instinct to smack the ball really hard. So you have to really train yourself to have this soft hands. Yeah. Of course not. And I have perfect partners to practice it with my son and yeah. Eric, a friend of mine. Absolutely. He's like a Zen Buddhist. Oh, really? So he's like this. So when I played with him, he's actually playing so gently. Oh. I can always hit his balls. Right. Even though he's not a player. But well, that's the whole thing about you playing with other people. You need to learn to rally. Yeah. And the most important thing is control. Because if you hit it hard, you're not going to get any rallies. You guys are not going to have fun playing with each other. So control yeah. is of the utmost importance. That's the most important thing in tennis. And then the power comes very gradually because as you get more balls in play, your confidence will grow and you will trust that you can hit it harder without missing it. Yeah. And this feel stuff that we're doing it can also help you with that. Another thing that's very difficult in tennis is when you have to run really fast and then do something very soft with your hands. So the combination of having a lot of intensity and running super fast, but then also having soft hands, uh, that's what we're gonna practice now. So I want you standing on the service line and I'm gonna feed you a ball that's gonna bounce very close to the net. You're gonna run super fast, get it off of one bounce, and then gently tap it over, just like we did on that other drill. You wanna get the ball as close to the net as possible on my side, okay? okay. All right, ready? And go, come on. Go, 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 go. It's gonna be very short, so you have to run, run your fastest, okay? Go. And gently, nice job. Now you can even, if you want, you can try to get the ball in my basket right here, okay? And run fast. Almost had it. It's a little bit too much there. You gave it too much, you overcooked it. Back up, all the way. No cheating, please. And get up, come. 
It's a little bit too much. Ready, come. Go, go, go. I love that one. Beautiful job. What do you think the feel is worse, the forehand or the backhand? Backhand, no. You know why? Because you're using two hands. So with two hands, the feel is a little bit more difficult. If you're using one hand, it will be easier. So if you want, you can actually use only one hand on this drill, oh. on the backhand. You don't really need two hands on the racket. Try it again. Just gently. Don't shovel the ball, though. Don't, don't go like this. Look, gently push the ball, okay? Gently push it. Yes, beautiful. And another one. Come on, Anna. Come on, get it in the basket. And one more backhand. Come on, all yours. Ah. That counts. That counts. It touched the basket. Very good. All right, come on up. I got one more for you. This one is going to be similar to the one we just did, but you're going to be moving laterally. So I'm going to push you from side to side, and you're going to run fast to get to the balls, but you're also going to be very gentle and, and tap it over, get it very close to the net on my side. All right, ready? And go. Come on. Very gentle. Good. Backhand. Don't shovel it. Come on, forehand. Good. Backhand. Gently push. Good. Forehand. All right. Backhand. Come, come, come. More gentle. Come on. And backhand side. Go on. Very nice. Forehand side. Come. Very nice. And backhand side. Come on. And give me last one. Match point right here. Fantastic job. All right, you're already playing with feel. Good job.